think this is the outskirts of Cannes. They got Filipino food here. Kabayan Mini Mart. I'm gonna go to the Mini Mart. It finally hit me. You're in Australia. You're not in Bakersfield anymore. This is not a two week vacation. So I'm on my break. I'm doing road construction. I'm near the mountains, the rainforest here in Cairns, Australia. I'm gonna go to the grocery store, market, so I can fucking get myself something to drink, use the restroom. I'm always Thai. Good times, good times. Hey, there's a, re oh, that's a rehabilitation for. People that are somewhat messed up physically. Pretty cool. Pretty cool stuff. This is fucking nuts. I'm in Australia. This is amazing. Where is that market? Service City, Sun City. Amazing. So I just got done with my first eight out of the 20 hours of traffic control training here in Australia. I already have a certificate to work in construction. Now I need a, a fucking a license to work in construction. I had to do 20 hours of free training, then apply to the, the Australia's version of the DMV so I can be able to control the traffic here on roads, on construction sites. And, uh, Basically, it's a fucking easy job, supposedly, that pays $50 an hour, but it's fucking dangerous. One wrong step and you could literally be crushed. Like today, I, there, like a vehicle came really close to me, I was like, wow, good thing I wasn't listening to music on the job, but I'm not going to listen to music. I've seen too many videos on Lively. I am near the fucking rainforest, and I'm going to be walking through the rainforest, and I told one of my freaking, um, I told my supervisor, like, uh, so like do i just like take a leak in the rainforest and he's like yeah and uh i told him you know uh, i come i'm kind of anxious because you know what if, what if, what if i get bit by a snake and he's like oh that's statistically unlikely mate you're more likely to be fucking eaten by a crocodile and now i told him well that doesn't make me feel better but yeah the dangers here in australia are real crock attacks do happen there's been like some recently here in australia but yeah now i'm going to walk through the rain of uh, this road with the surrounded by the rainforest pretty cool stuff my life is exciting the rainforest is 50 percent fenced off but yeah i'm going back to my place in front of the ocean walking through the rainforest pretty cool so this is the jehovah's witness hall here in Cairns, australia I used to study with a Jehovah's Witness and culturally some aspects about me are like Jehovah's Witnesses such as I rarely say bless you because I was taught and I was conditioned in a way like cult Christian culture wise I'm a bit like toward, I'm, I'm, I'm basically like a Jehovah's Witness but yeah so they have some good people that, that come here and this is pretty cool. They have the rainforest behind this Jehovah's Witness uh, a hall. Pretty cool stuff. So in there, there's mangroves. There's water over there, too. I think there's crocodiles in this area. Oh, well. It's not as dangerous as Bakersfield or Delano. Life is awesome. Well, at least my life is awesome. Like, it's fucking cool as fuck, man. My life is great. Like, 20 years ago, I dreamt of traveling to far away places. <laughs> now I am extremely far away from Bakersfield. When I was 14 years old, I was so desperate because I wanted to see the world. I wanted to see what was out there. Now... I'm 9,000 miles plus away from the fucking terrible city. 
These are meat pies, slow cooked king, island beef, and rich gravy, chicken. There's a lot of meat pies. The Australians really do love their meat pies. So, here in Australia, there's this banana split milk flavored drink, and it's fucking good. Real fucking good. Just another day in Cairns, Australia. It's raining right now. These Easy Marts sell overpriced stuff. I wouldn't buy anything for Easy Marts. That's a donut shop right there where they also sell drinks. The night market isn't up until like 4.30 p.m. or something like that. There's almost nobody in the lagoon. But the lagoon is fucking cold. Really fucking cold. For less than one US dollar, you can get a small freezy from McDonald's here in Australia.